Emma, both legs. I'm communicating both. Let's not listen. <laughs> so if you're new here, welcome. My twin sister Emily and I are on a weight loss journey. So far, we've lost over 160 pounds without any exercise. I started off my weight loss journey at 262 pounds. Sarah was 242 pounds. And I'm finding that the last 20 pounds are really slowing down. So since we've never really exercised before in our life, we decided to incorporate more challenge videos into our normal routine just so that we can get like a taste of all these different types of exercises that are out there because we've literally done none of them. So why not try all of them? And since we have a hard time sticking to things, we figured a one to two week challenge is more suited towards us. A couple weeks ago, we did the Chloe Ting two week shred challenge. And if you haven't seen that video, you can watch it after this one. After that one, we were kind of like, uh, I don't know what to choose. So we decided to take all of your suggestions and all of the other ones we've been finding on the internet, these short challenges and putting them in a bowl. And last week I picked the 1000 a day jump rope challenge. And honestly, I was like, how bad could it be? Because we just finished the Chloe Ting two week shred. So what we did is we started scrolling through Amazon, trying to find jump ropes. Obviously I wanted one that was counting for me, even though most of the time I ended up still counting in my head. The weather in Chicago has been quite unpredictable as of late, and I don't really have anywhere outside this cover that I can do it. So it's been raining a lot. So I'm really happy that we bought these convertible jump ropes. They pretty much come with these two weighted balls on a string that you can switch out and they do the counting for you. It brings like the counter around so you can do it inside if the weather is bad or maybe you don't have anywhere that you're willing to do it outside. We like to exercise under a shroud of darkness. Yes. So if you live in an apartment or you don't have anywhere to jump rope outside, um, we'll leave the link below in case you guys wanna check this out. I actually found it to be very useful. I did about half inside and half outside and I was able to do that because of the balls that came with these things. I don't know why I really didn't think about it all that much, but day one, I really hadn't taken into account that I haven't jump roped since I was like in elementary school. And we're 36, by the way. My pants are falling off already. I'm only at 22. <laughs> I'm like trying to do, <laughs> there's obviously a timing issue going on here. <laughs> Why don't you try to skip it? To skip? Skip in place. Like that? Mm -hmm. Normally a jump with a jump rope you would think would be like less than a second, but when you're constantly messing up, I mean, this thing, it dragged up for hours, yeah. days, the seasons changed, okay? When we started and when we were done with the first day of this challenge. So it was very, very difficult. I worked during the week, so I would do like 250 during lunch and then I would take a break and then I would do another 100 or whatever. So like, I wish that the whole counter would keep up for an entire day, but it didn't, I kept resetting. So I kept on had to, it's like not hard to do the math. But like, like, I just wish that I, it was it'd be nice to just count everything in one day. So Emily and I did not practice before we started and I really had no idea how it was gonna go. I kind of had like this idea that I was gonna be like Rocky or something, like it was just gonna be very easy. <laughs> There's some people that look really elegant when they're jump roping, that is not me at all. I looked really awkward. I was messing up every other jump. Like sometimes I would hit my bun. I don't know what's going on with that. I don't know if my jump rope was too long or if I'm too tall or if it was too short. I, I can't tell. <laughs> I tried all different types of things. One thing I found myself doing almost every single time was counting and when I would reach 10, I had never reached 10 before so I was psyching myself up because I was like, oh my God, I'm reaching 11. Oh my God, I'm reaching 12. Oh my God, I'm gonna mess up any second. And so then I would mess up. Yeah. And I just can't let go. Like, I think that by day like three, that's when I came over here and I had been practicing with only the balls in my house. I wasn't thinking about it as much because you're not worried about coordination. So I did five or 600 of them without the cord and I felt like I wasn't paying attention to how fast I was going and I was just doing it. And so by the time I went over for day three to Sarah's house to do it, I found myself actually going like faster and faster and faster. And I did like 30 in a row, which coming from someone who couldn't do like 10 in a row, is a big improvement. Emily went home and she started using the balls. She's like, it's way too easy to use the balls. I don't know if they count. And if you are actually taking the jump every time, 
the same thing, but you don't have to worry about messing up. You can just keep going. And for me, I've never jumped that much in my life. So even getting the practice and of jumping was a big accomplishment for me. Um, I actually do have like bad knees. I don't know if you have bad knees. I tried to jump on one leg a couple of times because my knee was like giving me pain, but that's when I would take a break and then come back out and give my knee some rest and do it again um, a couple hours later. So just like the Chloe Ting two week shred, I said this before in the last video, was like, I have issues with keeping rhythm and keeping a beat. I don't know why, but there's something like I'm going in my mind. I've explained this to my husband because I'm, he is very musical and I thought maybe he could tell me what's wrong with me or whatever, but like I could keep a beat, you know, but eventually I will mess it up. So we both were never musically like rhythmically inclined. And I think that jump roping is like, you need to have rhythm coordination. And I don't and coordination and I don't have it. Little things like people laughing at me, which happened a lot with like Emily laughing and my mom was over one time and she recorded me and she was like continuously laughing. No. <laughs> I couldn't keep going with people laughing at me because like it was too much for my mind to focus on. I know it sounds so silly, but yeah, it's hard to concentrate right. on just that alone. I'm kind of thinking about like how I look and like the cars going by and like, oh, it's windy. I wonder what the wind resistance is doing to me. And <laughs> is my rope too like, long? My mom was like one time jump with both legs. Remember, both legs. I'm communicating both, <laughs> one's not listening. <laughs> That's the problem. My bad Hollywood. knee. I couldn't get that one to go higher and I couldn't get the rope to go underneath. It seems like a lot of people who are doing this challenge are only using their wrist. And while Sarah is like, Ooh. Yeah, I was like dragging the rope underneath. Like the rope would hit like three feet in front of me and I would drag it on the floor <laughs> under me. And I had to time that. And I realized that my rotator cup were like in pain or whatever this muscle is. I, I don't, don't I don't have any pain in those. When we just finished the last um, bit of the challenge, I actually was doing it with my wrist because I saw a couple other people like um, Blair Walnut, she was just like beautifully doing it and like her, her arms are barely moving. Another thing that I noticed is I was doing a double jump every time I would jump. I don't know why, pretty much I was doing double the amount I needed to in order to get through it. That was me trying to keep rhythm, I was having the little jump in between. Like you need a little jump to like get you into the motion. Of the or, big jump, yeah, called? to get me uh, the, uh, Momentum? Uh, momentum, right. Momentum. To, mo momentum to get the bigger jump in. Like, Emily's like, stop jumping like that. I'm like, I can't. <laughs> it's, it's, it's ingrained in here. There were a couple days where I only got to 800. I'm not gonna lie. Um, my knee was giving out and I just, I don't wanna hurt myself because then what I'm gonna do. We just wanna say that a lot of the other people who did this challenge are like younger than us. So like yeah. we're 36 now. And so I think that if you have bad knees or if someone else was mentioning something about uh, pelvic floor problems by doing jump rope. And so you kind of have to gauge whether you are fit enough to do this. This and the Chloe Ting challenge, we haven't been doing it like fully because we just don't have the capability to do it yet. I mean. The Chloe Ting Challenge, Sarah and I, we have no rhythm, we have no strength, we have no uh, coordination, we have no will. No, I'm kidding. We don't, we just can't do it properly. We're trying to do it the best that we can. And I know a lot of you out there are the same because you also mentioned that you've never done exercise too. We're not like that abnormal. Like, like we're trying our best and isn't that worth something out there? No, I'm kidding. So maybe we should get into the results. We should also mention that we are the Keto Twins and we follow a ketogenic diet. And a lot of the other people who did this jump rope challenge and saw significant weight loss, they changed their eating habits while they did the jump rope challenge. So it wasn't the jump rope alone that did it. So we just wanted to, to mention that, that, that we are the Keto Twins and we did follow Keto Jacket Diet during the last seven days, as usual. So I started the 1,000 a day jump rope challenge at 165.4 pounds, and today I weighed in at 162.4 pounds, which is a loss of 3.2 pounds. Wow, that's crazy. And I've officially lost 100 pounds on my weight loss journey so far. Applause for me. Thank you. I have reached a new lowest weight and I'm very happy about that. So I started off the jump rope challenge at 176.4 pounds. So I weighed in today at 174.4 pounds and that means I lost two pounds. Final thoughts. Personally, I don't think I can do a lot of jump roping just because of my knees. I feel like you have to listen to your body if it's telling you that it doesn't like something and especially at my age, I don't really wanna get a knee replacement anytime soon. So I think I'm gonna listen and I probably won't be doing a lot of jump roping. Um, I do like the idea with the balls inside. If I were gonna do like a warm up or something, I could see doing that, but I don't see myself doing a thousand a day ever again <laughs> after this point, most likely. What about you? <laughs> um, I don't have the same knee problems as Sarah does, and it's kind of fun to like improve on something so fast because from day one to just coming off there, I felt like I was getting really, really fast all of a sudden at doing it because I feel like my mind just like let go. And when you let go, 
like you just do it faster and faster and you're not thinking about messing up anymore. I don't know how to describe it. Well, so I think it's an easy way to like improve on a right. rhythm issue you see, or something and coordination right. as well. I don't know. I think that there is improvement I and I can see it from the first day to the last day and that's not something that you can usually see very easily and so the fact that I see an improvement means I feel like I accomplished something. Does that make sense? No, yeah, I agree. And like so I, I, fun. After thinking about it, I agree that it would be a good way to keep up and trying to learn how to have rhythm and coordination if you have knees that will take it, withstand that type of jumping. And you don't have to do a thousand a day. We just chose that because that's a challenge. But I mean, even if you were to do a couple hundred a day and try to do a little bit more every day and maybe even try to jump a little higher, create better form or whatever, whatever the word, I don't know, exercise terminology. Um, to be able to see a progress is a great thing in any case. It's always motivating. It's good to have this jump rope in hand in the future just in to add it to our little home gyms or whatever, but um, it might be collecting dust for a little bit for me <laughs> while my uh, cartilage re heals itself. I don't think cartilage heals itself. It doesn't? Itself. No. Hmm. And if you'd like to see our ridiculous attempt at trying Chloe Ting's two week shred, you can click on the video on the screen and we'll see you over there. I'm Sarah. I'm Emily. And we, we are, are the Keto, Keto Twins. Twins. Signing out. <laughs>